everyone, welcome back to my DIY home with Liz. In today's video, I'm super excited to share with you my Dollar Tree jewelry organization. I have three really cool projects that I think will be perfect and simple to organize your jewelry. The first thing we're going to make is this earring organizer. And you're going to need shelf liner that has the holes in it. And then you're also gonna need some frames. I decided to go with these longer frames, but any frame from Dollar Tree would work. So just take apart your frame and you're going to use the backing to cut out your shelf liner. You want the shelf liner to be hanging over the edge about a half an inch because you want this to have a little bit of give in it whenever you put it back into the frame then just lay your shelf liner in the frame without the glass, then flip over that white piece of paper and then put in the backing. From there, you can flip it over and all you have to do is attach it to the wall and then hang your earrings in it. It's so simple. And then you just hang it on the wall with command strips. I used two on either side and it worked out perfectly. And then with your dangly earrings, you just have to slip them in the holes. And I've had this system for a couple of years now and it works out great. The next thing we're gonna make is this really neat bracelet organizer. So you're going to need this plaque frame or any kind of plaque from Dollar Tree. I'm also using these glass containers. I'm using two different sizes so that I have varying levels and then you're also going to need two rolling pins from Dollar Tree. So the first thing I'm going to do is fill up my a glass container. So I'm taking some foam board and I'm just going to cut out some white circles that I can put in place here so that I can have something to glue it to. So I'm just going to cut out two of these foam circles Next, to fill up the portion where the candle is, I'm just going to put a little bit of stuffing in there. You could use anything. Then I'm gonna take my E6000 and put that foam board in place. Now I'll be able, once this dries, to use this to attach my rolling pins to it. So I'm gonna do that with both of my candle holders. From there, I decided to paint this black. I realized later I didn't need to do this part, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys in case you were wondering, hey, why is this black now? You can just spray paint it and it will cover up any of the under portion I was concerned about. So next you want to use your E6000 to attach these to the base. And E6000 is really the strongest glue and what you need to use for, so that this will hold together. So I'm going to put them one in front of the other and then I'm going to attach the rolling pins to the top. So I used a generous portion of E6000 and then I sat my rolling pin in the middle. Once I got it on there I also added additional E6000 to the front and the back and I let these dry overnight so that they had a good chance to set up and I wouldn't have to worry about them coming apart. From there, I took them outside and gave them a nice coat of black spray paint. And you just need to do maybe two coats of spray paint and that's plenty. And this is similar to the, one of those jewelry stands that you would pick up at Michael's or at different places. And I love the way this turned out. It's perfect for all of my bracelets. Next, we're gonna make this tray, and this is so adorable. You're gonna need some glass plates. So I got the larger and smaller glass plates that they sell at Dollar Tree, and I also picked up this glass bowl. In the candle section, I found these awesome candle stands, so I'm gonna be using those for the center portion of this tray. This tray goes together so simply. All you need is some E6000 and you're gonna run that around the bottom edge of your candle stand where the gold part is. And I'm very generous with my E6000. I figure the more the better, it'll hold in place a lot better. And then you're just going to try to get it in, in the center as best as possible. Then you're gonna put another rim of the E6000 around the top and then you're gonna come in with the plate. And you're gonna repeat those steps to the other candle holder, putting it on the plate, and then 
Finally, you're gonna put more E6000 and attach the bowl. Again, you wanna let this sit for 24 hours so it has time to dry before you put anything on it. But this is perfect. I decided to put some change in the top of it. You could put bracelets, trinkets on the side. Whatever you have, I think looks great there. And this is how it all looks in my closet, the three projects. I wanted to show you some of the additional things that I have. I have this Be Happy sign that I made earlier this year from Dollar Tree products that I decided to hang on the wall. Next to my bracelets, I just have little trinkets. You guys may recognize this little thing that I picked up earlier this year from Dollar Tree. I just put a gold L on it and I think it's a cute little thing. I stored little earrings in there. And I wanted to show you guys how I store my necklaces as well. So what I do for the necklaces is I have just a piece of wood, anything you have on hand, this is actually trim. And then we just screwed in these little teacup holders into the board and then attached it to the wall. This is perfect for holding all of your necklaces. I've done this system for years and I really love how easy it is to find everything you need. So I hope you got some great ideas and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!